So greetings everyone and welcome to Fly Center Power Time Practice here on Saturday, the 14th of April, 2018. Welcome to everyone who is joining for the first time and those of you who have been enjoying coming together every Saturday to find out what the power time is for the week that we can tune into that is behind the energy of time. So the time is a chronological rolling out of a series of events in our lives. And it's indicated by the minutes or the seconds, the minutes, the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, the years. And time takes by. And then we expect things out of that time but sometimes or most times it doesn't happen that way so when we find out through the teachings of dr palai who he shares the the from, he hails from the lineage of the tamil siddhas and he shares the teachings about how to uh, tap into the mysteries the energies behind time so the power times are all about tapping into something that is hidden from us. And once we find out about it, it's so easy to be naturally in alignment with time so that things roll out smoothly. So if you know what's ahead of time, then you can govern yourself accordingly. So we have a beautiful... Uh, celebration to participate in today, whether you're listening on the phone or whether you're watching on Zoom live, or maybe you're going to watch this later on as a recorded video. My name is Sucharita, and I've been a longtime student and uh, master teacher at Fly Center, and I'm happy to be sharing with everyone through the grace and blessings of Dr. Ply. A, what we call a puja or an offering to the sun. So the sun is in its exaltation state, meaning that it's going to be the brightest that it can be as it transits through the zodiac. So we just came out of the sun transiting Pisces and Pisces is the 12th a natural sign of the zodiac. So it's the end of the zodiac. There's 12 signs. So now it's in a fire sign and the sun is it, being in Aries. It's in its most powerful state. And what does that mean to us? Well, the sun represents the soul. So we want to activate our soul's consciousness so that we can hit the ground running we have been we finished up a whole year cycle so every month as the sun is transiting it's going to illuminate different areas of our life so this transit it's going to kick start a new year a new vedic year so when we start a new year like we did in january according to the gregorian calendar we are starting something fresh. We want to experience life renewed. So there's a lot of renewal energy. There's a lot of vitality that we're able to have access to if we know how to unlock the secrets. So doing a puja, doing an offering to the sun and, and uh, thinking about what it is that you want to manifest at this point in time, then you are actualizing that inside of you. You're cultivating that. It's like planting a seed. You're putting it in the ground, the ground state of you, which is your soul. You're putting it inside of you. The soul is covered up by this being that you call yourself. And the soul is crying out. It wants to sprout up. It wants to shine forth. So being the sun being in Aries, it's going to allow that to happen quite naturally. And it's going to uh, make us want to do something that's different, perhaps uh, have a makeover or do something that we are going to uh, help, that's going to help us physically to feel more vitality, more energy, more strength. So we might sign up 
for a gym membership or we might get outside more we might be walking we might be doing more exercise to get keep this body subtle and strong and flexible so that it's not susceptible to uh, the aging process or disease if we're not doing anything we're not getting the juices flowing and then we feel lethargy and we feel like nothing is working and then that impacts our psyche and our emotions so waking up the soul we will feel brighter we'll feel more energized we'll want to get on our spiritual path because the sun is all about getting on the spiritual path because we know in life that anything can happen and without our spiritual path we don't have a go-to we don't have anyone who can say hey feel better we've got to feel better inside people can say that but they may not necessarily impact us that's going to be long lasting so every day we wake up and we're grateful just to be alive and then we're grateful to be able to do a spiritual practice for those of you who need to go thanks for joining wishing you all the best for this new year as the sun wakes up your soul to a whole new level and uh, we'll see you next time and those of you who are going to stay this is the part of the call where we can take some questions shared experiences if you'd like to do that It'd be nice to hear from you so what you need to do is you just need to press star six or you can just unmute your mic on Zoom. Hi, Sujitra. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. I really enjoy it. So peaceful and it's like I know you personally. You're such a kind soul. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Being on the call, and I uh, have a couple of questions there. Um, one is uh, today is the fourteenth moon as well, right? What happened? I got muted again. Oh no, I'm I'm muted. Okay, sorry. Uh, yes, it is. It's the 14th moon. I'm looking at the Vedic calendar, the yeah. Astrobed calendar. Yeah. And it, it it looks like it's the 14th moon until about um, 11 o'clock tonight. And then it'll be the new moon, the 15th moon. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, I can you please tell me the uh, mantra for smashing uh, four coconuts? It's... For smashing coconuts? Yes. You can just say gum. That's it? Yeah, it's for Ganesha. So you can say Om Gum Ganapathaya Namaha or, or Om Gum or Om Gum Ganesha Namaha. Just if it's more important for you to just focus on taking that coconut and absorbing all the negativity into the coconut. Like I just, uh, just like a lemon, I do it on my throat, head and everything, right? Yes. Okay. I'll do that. And uh, another one was when we offer uh, black sesame and a rice flour and a, a coin and a, a water to ancestors, what do we do with that coin? Just leave it there? You can take it and, and wash it off and use it again. Oh, okay. All right. That's it. Thank okay. you, Shishma. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wilma, are you next? I am next, and I just want to thank you and everything that I have received since I've been taking the classes. Um, yesterday was the most unbelievable day when it's supposed to open up everything. I got a co-writer for my book. I got a publisher. It's like my whole world has totally shifted. Wow. So I want to thank you and everybody involved. And they, I finally, the insurance company made an offer to settle for my new roof, which they didn't want to. 
Yeah, I'm not getting full, but I'm getting two thirds, which is I'm very happy. Awesome. So this is has just this week has been amazing. And like yesterday, when the new beginning, it w totally was a new beginning. Fantastic, the woman. Thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome, and thank you for being you. <laughs> God bless you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Is there anyone else who would like to share? I hear, I'm, I'm looking on the chat. It says, what if some of us are not able to pronounce the mantras correctly? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you can, it's okay. You can listen to the mantra playing. Dr. Ply has so many free YouTube videos or you can go to Ply Center and the audio downloads are super inexpensive. So as you're listening to it, and his voice and singing, uh, you, you kind of like, a, you, like learning a song. You will hum the tune and then you'll say a few of the words. And there is, um, uh, the pronunciation is there. And then there are, um, uh, the translation is, is there as well. There's going to be a program on Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. And that is going to be uh, a, a live call with myself and, uh, and everyone else who is joining. It's a Ply Center Academy program. And you can, we'll bring in the new year and, and there you will learn how to um, pronounce the Gayatri, and there's the beautiful videos of Dr. Ply and also a great uh, lecture that he's going to be doing. So I'll be facilitating that program if you're interested in joining. So just keep listening to the chants, keep and listen to it in his voice to get that initial uh, initiation and then you can just keep practicing it if you even have it just playing in the background you'll be humming along with it and all of a sudden you'll be saying it after some some time rosie yeah i just wanted to say i don't know what spiritual um energy there was yesterday besides the goddess but i too had experience yesterday where i had a long seated problem with my neighbor for like five years to where i was like hating this man oh i mean it was just just like consuming me and he came i went outside and he came over and actually begged me to get over it, cooperate with him. He comes up to me and he goes, you're old and you're miserable. <gasps> <laughs> and I said, I'm not old and I'm not miserable. I'm just miserable about you. But okay. anyway, we, we worked through it and you know, something that took five years finally was resolved yesterday. I felt so much weight off my shoulders. I also did a Patangara uh, Homa, and I'm doing the year-long Mars and Saturn just because of that uh, problem with them to overcome it. So it was like instant. Wow. <laughs> So I'm, I'm just very grateful. I know my mother prays. She's Catholic. She says the rosary every day. I guess I'm just prayed up. And that's what it is, Rosie. When we connect with the divine, things will happen so fast. Yes, and it, it, it is a wonderful thing to um, release hatred. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm so glad. That's so hard on the soul, right? It's so hard on your psyche as well. And for all those years. Yes. So anyway, just wanted to share that and say, I don't know what the energy was yesterday, but 
but the goddess um, carried forth and relieved me of my burden. Well, yesterday was a Pradosham day. Pradosham is a time to karma bust. Uh huh. So big karma got busted. And then also uh, coming into the new moon, the new moon is all about the ancestors. So when we're propitiating the ancestors, I hope that you're doing that as well on a daily basis, you will start to get blessings through uh, in mysterious ways. So things like that can get resolved very easily. Yeah, I used to do the, the tarpon on and I, I, you're right. I need to go back to doing that every day. Yeah, definitely. So thank you so much for sharing. Yes, thank you. I'm really enjoying your Saturday morning meditations and discussion. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Rosie. Happy New Year. You too. Thank you. So there is another um, question on the chat and it's asking about the name of the program on, on Sunday is going to be called, it's called Awaken with the Sun. So there's a lecture and then some fabulous audios and videos that Dr. Ply has given out. There's a beautiful meditation. Uh, and then it tells you what to do during this time that the sun is exalted. So it's in its most uh, powerful state. That means your soul has the ability to drink it up, fill yourself up with this energy. And then uh, that intelligence will guide you for the whole year because it's the first house, it's the first sign, it's all about you, it's all about your personality, it's all about your health, your well being. So we can hear from the past couple of members who shared, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, things got resolved. And that's what happens. When the sun transits, it wakes up you to that level of consciousness that you can get things resolved without thinking too much anymore because you've been doing your spiritual practices. So the sun also will help those spiritual practices that you've been doing and doing and doing and doing over and over mantras you know, rituals, services, and finally, they culminate and build that consciousness within you that just says, okay, we're coming into a new cycle. So here you go. Here's your gift for all your efforts. So you uh, definitely can benefit from this uh, program called Awaken with the Sun. And that's on Ply Center Academy. Hello, Sukarita. Ah, how are you, Yasmin? I'm fine, thank you. I just wanted to share. It's a beautiful program, Awaken with the Sun. I started it last, last Sunday, my mm -hmm. Sunday. I mm -hmm. was so drawn to it. So I started it already, so I'm um, almost a week in. And it is so powerful. It is just, and I love the sunlight anyway. I love golden light and the essence of it. And I have to really promote it a little bit uh, for people who are sitting maybe on the fence because this program is so deep and powerful. And it is helps me to, um, for example, my Sri Brazil practice benefits from that so much. It's, um, there is something happening what is clearing stuff and it goes so deep and, and it brings the other mantras or whatever practice you are doing. It's so expansive and it's, it becomes subtler and subtler and deeper and subtler and more expansive through this program, whatever other uh, mantras or other practices we are doing. And I thought I'd share that because that was a big surprise. So um, th there was something very beautiful when I started um, the awakening with the sun. I'm anyway in love with the sun. So, <laughs> so for me, it was like, ooh, I was so drawn to it. Um, I, I, I would then say Shreem Brazi, for example, and it would just reverberate, reverberate, reverberate and expand. 
And I would go out into nature and it responds immediately, immediately. Everything is responding immediately. So today, I didn't feel so well because uh, obviously you have also clearings coming up and that's fine, doesn't matter. So today I felt a bit like, oh, okay. And I was out uh, feeding my horses and uh, we have here um, the autumn. For us here in New Zealand is autumn time. So there was a lot of rain and storms around, but not where we live. It, we are really protected. And uh, so I was out and um, the rain stopped and um, gave some hay to my, my beauties. And I just, I just sang the, 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 the mantra, the Gayatri mantra, because I'm having it in my mind day and night. I sleep with it. <laughs> I do, I listen to the lectures, I do the meditations, and I have it the whole day on, on, on low volume. So it's all my mind, I went out, and my stallion came out. I have a herd of horses, and my stallion, they live all free together. Um, so I have a baby, and um, a little foal, he's, he's just um, a few weeks old, so I give the mare extra. And I don't give the others because it's too expensive. They just get a bit of hay, but she gets extra food. And my stallion and me, we have a very special relationship. So he comes and he looks at me. And really, he wants also to have some special food. And I just looked at him and I started to sing the Gayatri mantra. And he's so relaxed with the first, it comes out of, nothingness and he relaxed into the sun mantra the whole horse from i want food was like woo relax and half in meditation his eyes half closed and he was such in peace and connected it was so beautiful and i want to share that because um, it's fired off when you have, I mean, I overdo it. I'm very intense. So I do everything day and night and day and night. Of course, then you have clearings, right? But it shows that in spite of, if you feel a bit off, because, yeah, day and night is a bit of a lot, but I love it and I do it like that. But then the animals are showing you so honest that in spite of, you might feel a bit through the wind. It was immediate, his, his response to me. It was just total from, I want food stallion thing to absolute in the light relaxation, tuning in with me. And um, it's so beautiful. So thank you so much. This is a beautiful program. I'm looking forward. Um, to um to your teachings um, about it so thank okay. you thank you yasmin and i'm so happy for you and it sounds like you are experiencing the sun because here in this picture surya you can see the seven horses so, yes <laughs> oh you. wow oh i need this picture oh it's beautiful my god yeah, so this picture came with, uh, again, one of the services that I participated in, Astrovetter Pillai Center. And uh, so the seven horses, they represent the, the chakras. And when we're breathing uh, the rhythm of the divine in the chakras, then there is peace, there is harmony that can even control a wild stallion. Yes, so, just so beautiful. That's what we want to experience is that you know, that breathing in and out, not the anxiety yeah. breathing all the time or the no. or anger or frustration and you're holding your breath and you're exploding. It's not like that. You're, when the chakras are aligned and the Gayatri will do that because it's a head fake. It's gonna go beyond your mind, go beyond your intellect. It's gonna go deep into your soul and just make it happen, just like your stallion. So thank you for sharing that. It was a great story, Yasmin. Thank you.
and look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So, so there's the picture of the, let's change the light a bit. <laughs> the light just wants to be the, on the sun. Uh, and then we have the Gayatri here and she was, I don't know if you were watching or noticing, but there were times where I was going in and out of the mantra. And then uh, as I was putting the flowers, I can't really see because there's this like bright light here. And so I was putting and then they were just falling and falling. And at one point they put the light out, the fire, uh, the, this uh, ghee lamp. And uh, it's like in life, you know, you just relight it, of course. But it's like in life, someone will try to put our fire out. It will try to put our fire, fire out by, uh, you know, doubting ourselves or um, being um, skeptical or, you know, just not, we just, we're, we're just not in a good mood. So the sun, even if the sun isn't shining, then the Gayatri mantra or Surya mantra will help to get rid of all that negativity, get rid of the depression as Dr. Ply shares in the Dancing with Shiva audio that we listened to before this um, call today, where it's, uh, it's, such a, it's a dancing, happy, upbeat song. Uh, and it's the song of the Lord. It's a song of the soul. It's a song of the light. So if you can get those audio downloads on Fly Center, please do that because it will be, it's so much fun to get the, the dancing music and get the mantra in that form where Dr. Fly is sharing. At, and then you can learn it a lot easier than maybe in the monotone uh, sort of, uh, chanting mantra version. So is the same mantra for the sun and the goddess? Yeah, good question, Linda. So the sun mantra, you can sing the Gayatri mantra so uh, for the sun and the goddess, or you can say Om Suryaya Namaha or Om Suryaya Swaha. So Surya means the sun. So you can say either or. So if you have a statue of the Gayatri and you don't have time to do the Gayatri mantra, because it is quite a long hymn, uh, relatively speaking, and uh, you can just say Om Suryaya Namaha or Om Suryaya Swaha. So someone is saying here, thank you for this service. I felt my thymus expanding. And I had to lie down. So the thymus is what we um, helps with our health and well-being, immunity, and so on. And uh, when I came back and heard Sucharita's voice telling us to visualize a column of light coming from heaven, this was my first celebration of the new Vedic New Year. My experience must have been an attunement to the new vibration, and that's what happens: is we unlock the secrets through these puja offerings, we're offering different items that represent the different elements. And then the different elements are also inside of us. We activate it through the sounds, ah, u, ma, om, na, ma, shivaya. They align the chakras. So we align, we attune ourselves. We're going straight up to the divine. And that is like a, bang on Wi-Fi connection, clear, you know, you're so clear, crystal clear, and the energy is coming and coming and coming, you're so attuned to it. And so that energy can be really strong and over empower, it can over empower you. So if you have to lie down, lie down. And that might be a way to listen to the Gayatri as well, is you lie down and you just imagine all the sunlight getting into you from head to toe, like a body scan and then sorting, uh, searching out body parts that are, you know, pain, you have had an injury or you do have an injury that's healing or you have heart sorrow and you just want the sun to be in your heart 
or you have low self-esteem and you want the sun to go into your solar plexus, which is just below the heart and above the navel chakra, or you want to be enlightened, so you bring the sun into the third eye and into the eyes. If you have poor eyesight or you're tired, your eyes are tired, then you can pray to the sun and bring the sunlight in. So listen to the Gayatri today as much as you can. And then you just visualize the sun rays getting into the different body parts, into the chakras, into your whole being, into your brain, especially because your brain tells you the rest of the body what to do. So the neurons that are firing right now are the ones that are always firing. So you're expecting different results when you think about things. I want this, I want that, I want a relationship, I want health, I want money, I want car, I want travel. I want, I want, I want, and yes, you should have it. So how to get out of the doubting part of it, because those are the tracks that have been laid down for God only knows how long, so you have to wipe that out. You have to shed new light on it. And it, the sun is so powerful today and in the coming couple of days. So listen to the, the Gayatri mantra as much as you can, especially as it is in these 30 days, as Dr. Ply will share. Say it every day in these 30 days because you're, you're planting the seed for the whole year as the sun transits in, into every other sign and that corresponds to a different area of your life. So next, next month as it enters Taurus, around the middle of the month, it's going to make you to want to think prosperous thoughts and uh, all about money and how to invest and how to uh, enjoy your life. So this, you want the sun's blessings to go and then do that. If you didn't pay attention to it in this month, that, which is all about you and all about your thinking, then it's going to say you don't really care. If you don't care about something, you don't pay attention to it. You don't do it. You don't take steps towards it. And so you can't expect your life to change. Hmm? It just, it's not logical. So you want to get the divine logic to come in, which is say, okay, you're going to negate this anyways. So just bring in the mantra and that will eventually cause your brain to fire in a way that is going to make you to think those thoughts that are in alignment with the sun. So listen to the sun, body scan it. You can have it, uh, you can sit in your meditation and Im imagine the sun coming into those body parts as well. Uh, if you fall asleep listening to it, that's even better because your mind is knocked out of the way. You're not thinking and blocking. Someone was saying here, um, I, I couldn't focus. There was too much chatter in my head. I refocused by remembering a picture of Dr. Ply during his birthday in India, and there was a light aura around the top part of his body in that picture is that picture still available can you post it so we can use it to focus yeah it should be on ply center and you can just copy it um it can be on facebook as well i'm not really sure but we'll we'll check it out and maybe uh, rada can add it to the newsletter this week or to the blog and that's what happens. So our mind is just a monkey. It's all over the place. It's just causing us to uh, miss. And so just let the mind to do what it wants to do. You can't fight a monkey. You know, they're just going to spaz out on you. I know because I've been to India and I've seen people who the monkey jumps and it grabs their prasad, the blessed food that they just got from the temple and they're totally freaked out. And they're like fighting with the monkey. Give me my prasad. This is my blessing. It's like, don't, they'll bite you. They'll freak out. Just let them have it. <laughs> so that's what the mind is like too. Just let, don't grab on to those thoughts. Don't try to fight them. Just let them do whatever it is they're going to do. They're going to monkey around. And what you need to do is keep pumping your energy and or yes, focus. That's why we have these sacred objects because you're focusing on something that will take you out of the monkey mind. And even if the, it does pull you away, that focus allows the mantra to come in and do what it needs to do for the soul. 
And then that builds and builds like a seed gets planted. You don't dig it out and say, hey, are you growing? You know, you don't dig it out of the soil. You leave it there. You keep uh, watering it. You keep nurturing it. You keep wondering, hey, are you working? Are you, how are you doing? And then a, a little sprout pops up and you go, come on, grow into the stem, grow into the plant or the tree, you know, but you can't um, make it to do anything. It's nature. So the nature has to take its course. And so what we have to do is we have to learn patience, persistence. Uh, we have to feed it. We have to water it. We have to nurture it. We have to wonder about it. Uh, and then eventually it, it grows and we're like, oh my God, this is so amazing. So like the mantra or like any meditation practice, you do it over and over and over because it's building new blocks of consciousness so we need to build the blocks of prosperity consciousness of health consciousness of relationship consciousness that is loaded with divinity you know so that we don't mess up again because wherever we go there we are if we leave one relationship we'll just go to the next we'll be the same we'll mess it up there too so uh, same with money. If we get a lot of money, we don't know what to do with it. We don't know how to invest it. We don't know uh, how to tithe. We don't know anything about it. So all we know is that whatever comes, it just goes. But that has to, if you want to build your wealth, you've got to build the consciousness first inside of you that gives you those ideas. Oh, wow, I got to take care of this money. Even if I have a very little amount, I have to start to uh, think about how or get the advice from a financial advisor who knows how to uh, guide you. And then you build on that and you do your mantra and all of a sudden it'll be building even faster and faster and faster. Even if you have debt, people are saying, yeah, but you, you know, credit card debt, blah, blah, blah. doesn't matter. Just look at how many times you go and spend on silly stuff. You know, money just goes on silly things, things you don't need out of emotion. So it will, the mantra will also help you to be happy so you don't go into those silly spending sprees. Hmm? Just checking the chat here. So... So Reti is saying, Happy Vedic New Year. Happy Vedic New Year to you too. Uh, since the beginning of April, I've had lots of miracles and happiness. I am grateful. Finally, I enjoy life every minute of it. Thank you so much. Happiness and love is through me all the time. And that's what it is. Is that when we pay attention to our soul and we feed it, and we nurture it, we care about these gods and goddesses, their archetypal beings, their energies, they are eternal, they are for everyone, regardless of what religion you were raised in. You've had some lifetime or maybe several lifetimes or even this lifetime where you've been exposed to these teachings and they are doing something to you to remember, oh my God, this is, my, this is the food for my soul. This is gonna make my soul to sing. This is gonna make me to be happy. This is going to make me to feel joy. Even if I have to go through what everyone else on the earth plane has to go through, no one is exempt from problems or issues related to family, money, uh, job, business, career, you know, your spiritual angst. Everyone has problems. Everyone has issues. People who have more money actually have more issues, in my humble opinion. I have met so many wealthy, wealthy, wealthy people, and they can't pay enough for happiness. So it's not that you should be discouraged from having wealth, have tremendous wealth, and then have that consciousness within you that says, I totally enjoy this wealth. <laughs> I'm not worried that anyone's going to take it from me, you know, because this is something that I'm going to be 
uh, using to help myself, help my family, help others, uh, to plant seeds for people who need encouragement, to help those who need it the most, to help build a better world. So most people who have a lot of money, they tend to be so freaked out and they just want to have it all to themselves. And then that energy causes so much uh, anxiety and they don't uh, trust anyone and, and they don't feel good. They're full of disease because they are so worried about it all the time. They can't even sleep. So not to say that is everyone who has money. I'm just saying that we've got to build the wealth consciousness within us so that, and then handle our, manage our money now wisely. And that is going to help our health and our well-being. Because as Dr. Ply shares, money makes you authentic. It does. You have to just see. You know, like you, you, you can't say, oh, geez, I have no, I have um, no money and I'm just miserable. Or I have money uh, and I can just tell my boss <laughs> that I'm leaving now. I have enough money. I don't need to be here. But until then, you've got to be happy in your job. You got to be authentic in your job. And it's not so easy, right? So to, when you have enough money to do whatever it is that you want to do, you don't have to leave your job if you love it. Um, but you will be so authentic. You will feel so good inside of yourself. That's true authenticity. Can we download your mantra here that you have just done? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so, uh, Andrea. I think there will be an audio of it that will be available. There will be a link to SoundCloud, I believe. And then you can just listen to it there. It will be the uh, part of the meditation, part of the puja. Maybe if you just want the flower petal offering, maybe um, Radha can ask the media team to put together just the audio because that was 108 offerings of the Gayatri Mantra with the flower petal. If you want that, we can do that. How did you get the small picture of Dr. Ply? In the past, Ply Center only had the larger poster. This picture is probably... Mm, 15 years old this a long time ago so i don't know what they have available now good morning good morning jane how are you i am i Hi, saying it right jennifer db db is my audio okay because this is a new computer give thanks oh congratulations yes yes happy vedic new year Thank you. You too. Yes, it was a beautiful meditation. And I just want to say like five minutes, five to uh, about five to several minutes into the meditation. It was like I felt the sun calling me and it says, go to your uh, bedroom window and do this in the sunlight. I have like this 24 inch wide window in the bedroom, end of my bedroom in the east window and it was like go do this and receive the direct sunlight and it was just amazing so i was standing up with my a hand in prayer and uh, listening to you and receiving the the sunlight in my face and body it was just so beautiful oh db that's so awesome that's such a great practice it was, it was like, I couldn't go outside. I was like, I don't want the neighbors. I couldn't take the laptop outside and go, you know, and be the neighbors looking at me. But it was because I was like, let me go get the light. It was like, come to the light. And it was so powerful because my soul was so happy. My heart, my eyes start to water. It was like my soul was saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, you're, this is going to be a wonderful new year. And it was just a beautiful experience. 
Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes. And, you know, just your guided, it was just beautiful. I was standing up the whole time and I could feel my body and cells. Everything was just, 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 just so happy to receive that direct light. And I was, I just really am so glad I went and stood in, and received the sun energy direct. Now, I have some questions. Um, yesterday, I have, yesterday was a very intense day for me also with the neighbor. So I thought that was interesting. That, Neighborly um, love. <laughs> it was like, what happened the woman said about this neighbor? <laughs> But it wasn't resolved on a certain level, but you know, it was like, it was like, it was very interesting. But then, so later on in the day, I was um, playing of the Maruga Homa. And I was like calling Maruga to come in and help me, you know, with some obstacles and stuff. And I was like, you know, come on. And then I hear this smashing sound my bathroom window was broken. Oh, a ball, an orange ball comes flying through my bathroom window into my living room and it just like glass is shattered everywhere. And it was my neighbors, you know, because that part of the house is my neighbor's backyard and it came in and I'm like, oh my God, Maruga, are you here? You know, it's like, <laughs> It was, it was so wild. And so then the neighbor comes running around the block over to my place with his uh, friend and their kids and everything. I was like, oh, you know, kids be kids, you know, da, da, da. It's all good. It's no, nobody's hurt. Thank God I wasn't in the bathroom. I would have been knocked out. So I just wanted to say, do you feel that was Maruga or was it just, I was like, this is some, because I, I was like, oh yeah, I was karma busting because I had break, break, broken a coconut earlier. And well, I, I was going to say, D.B., because the orange ball, maybe you were calling on Maruga, but the orange right away was like a Ganesha, because the Ganesha is associated kind of like with an orangish reddish light. So really? busted through it, but also Maruga's energy is like that too, where he's like the god of war, like he's enough now. This is, we're breaking, we, and when something breaks, so if we break a glass, all of a sudden it just like jumps out of our hand or we, we break something in our house, don't be freaked out. Or you break your mala beads. That's right. That's you know, because right. it's, it's representing a karma that's breaking. Yeah, so I was asking for karma busting yesterday because I had did tarpanam, I had broken a coconut, I had done all this stuff. And then I was like, it was around six o'clock and I was like, okay, well, let me put on the Maruga Homa. And then at 6.15 it was like, Bam! I mean, glass splatter. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I was like, this, I was like, is this a coincidence or is this a sign? Because I was like, I got a karma bus. I'm into karma bus. I got to bus this karma. <laughs> so what happened with the, with the neighbors? They came around and they were quite lovely or? Yeah, yeah but this is the second time that's happened. This is a happened a couple of years ago. They broke my bathroom window, and so when the guy comes and it was his friend and their and his kid, you know, because they have kids, I was just like, he was like, okay, we, we, uh, when do you want to get this fixed? And I was like, well, ASAP, you know. And he was like, okay, well, it's probably late now, but you know, tomorrow first thing and everything we'll fix and everything. I'm like, okay, you know, kids will be kids, you know, blah, 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 boys will be boys, you know. And it was just like that. So they're gonna fix it, you know. They're gonna send somebody over, I guess, this morning. But I was just, because I was heavy on, I got to break this karma, tarping on 13th moon, because I had missed the 13th moon before. And I was just like, this stuff is deep. I was like, I want to take this as a sign. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what it is, is the divine will tell you right away. Everyone thinks that we're doing it. Like we're the one initiating it. It's actually the divine saying, call on me you know, you need to do this. And then you start to do it. It's like we have this uh, intuition and, or this, uh, this sign, this omen that we have to do something. Something is pushing us. It's, in, it's like, it's so passionate inside of us to make us to do it. And then we do the thing and then we go, oh, that was the divine. And you go, yeah, that's the divine. <laughs> wow. 
you know, it's just so powerful. So um, I just want to ask you, I always hear you say you can get this on cloud access. And I was wondering, can we get it? How do we do that? Because, you know, the, the, the a replay usually don't come in till Saturday morning. And I was just curious, how are people accessing this during the week? How is that possible? Yeah, so it's a, it's a link to SoundCloud and it's an app that you can get on your computer or your smartphone. So there's a, there's going to be a link in the newsletter. You get the newsletter, right, DB? I think so. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not, which newsletter? Because you guys send out, you know, several different things. I'm not sure. It's called Power Time Practice. If you signed oh. up and you're on this call, you must have gotten a welcome letter. Okay, yeah, okay. And All then, right. so every week, it, it's called Power Time Practice. Yes, okay, yes, and, I received that, yes. Yeah, so there, scroll down um, to the page where, or to the part of the page where it says, uh, listen to the meditation here, or listen to the discussion here. So there's two separate links and mm -hmm. one will be through the video and one will be through the audio now we're really trying and please pray for us that we can get these um videos uploaded a lot sooner like right after the call so people don't have to wait for the whole week to receive it uh, for those people who can't join um, because this is a free service we are kind of at the bottom of the list of of uh, people who will will get their audios and videos up put up right away if it's a paid service then it gets put up right away so if anyone has um you know they're technically inclined or they uh, they know how to upload videos to the different sites to youtube if you would like to do service uh, and and uh, that will make you smile then please send an email to myself, sucharita at flycenter.com or programs at flycenter.com or powertimepractice at flycenter.com. And then um, we'll give you the, the link to help out and, and Rada will share with you on what it is that we need to do to get these videos out to everyone right away, right after the call. So thanks for reminding DB and then check check your email and you can also check on the blog. There will be a link posted right on the Palai Center blog. So okay, you can I've never checked blog. that. Hmm? I've never checked that. So okay. Yeah, and then you just can click on the link that it's there, the Palai Center blog, and I think it's called Practice Room. So you go to uh, Palai Center blog, the tab on Palai Center, and then you go into a uh, practice room and that's where we'll be. Uh, Power time practice will be there. And then you can see all the past uh, calls and all the audios and all the videos there as well as on YouTube. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then this one last um, question. Um, I wanna ask you about this music. The Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha and where Dr. Palai is talking. Is that available? How can I get that? I just love that. I, I, is, yeah. Can I buy it? Do I, where is it? <laughs> yeah, it's on Fly Center. And if you go to audio downloads, really, so you, you go to the store on Fly Center, uh -huh. and then you, you go to audio downloads, mm -hmm. and then it's called Dancing with Shiva, and it has all those mantras. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's like it's like I don't even know. I think it's like ten dollars. It's so so reasonable. You oh, get like eleven tracks or something. Oh, I'm gonna get that today as soon as you're over. I'm getting that today. I'm gonna be jamming that all day, and the Gayatri mantra, which I love, is just just so powerful. Once I went to a three day um, Gayatri mantra. People just don't know how powerful it is. Once I went to a a spiritual retreat for three days and the whole topic was the Gayatri mantra for mm -hmm. three days. And so I'm just letting everybody know, don't underestimate the power of the Gayatri mantra. And I'm, 
I'm so glad that you know you're reintroducing it back into my life because I, it's powerful. It is. It's very powerful, and you'll feel the empowerment. You'll understand it right now because this is when it's most exalted. So it's like it's beaming everyone on the earth plane. But if you're spiritually aware and you're here <laughs> with uh, Dr. Ply's teachings that will wake it up even more because whenever you do a practice, a mantra practice or a meditation or any of his teachings, you're actually calling his energy in and his energy is the highest. So you're getting his intelligence filtered through your system. And that's why it, it makes it to feel so uh, much stronger than you would just reading it somewhere else. Okay. I'm going to go. I don't want to take up all the time, but I just want to say that the experience I can't put into words that I felt doing when you were doing the puja and I was standing with my hands in prayer to the sun, receiving the direct light from my be bedroom window. It, it was like I, my soul was so happy. It was like, welcome home. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. So I just want to thank you. I just, I'm so glad that you are here. <laughs> I'm happy to be here too, DB. <laughs> All right, then. Just have a beautiful, beautiful weekend, Vedic New Year to everybody. Love, happy Vedic New Year to everybody. Love and Dr. Pillai, everybody. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. And DB, your prayer has been answered. Eva just posted the link to the audio downloads. And here is the link to the uh dancing with shiva one and that's the one that you want what do i do because i'm still kind of i go to chat how do i get that link because when you guys be saying you post links i'm like okay it's there how do i get it i don't know what to do oh you just click on it oh so i go to the chat i click on the chat and, and then, then it'll come up in your browser thank you honey because i'm still trying to get all this together all right no <laughs> problem Thank but you. we'll we'll include it in the uh, in the uh, newsletter, so okay, beautiful. Beautiful. you can see it there. But if you go to store, if you go to Ply Center, then you go to store, and then under store you go to down audio downloads, and then you will see the selection. And the second one down is called Dancing with Shiva. You can't miss it. All right, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, Eva. Thank you, everybody. One love. <laughs> okay. God bless. Yes. It's a very powerful practice that DB just shared with us and do that. So you're bringing the sunlight, the physical sun even. And here's the thing is in places that it's not so sunny, you can just go to the, the light, you know, maybe there it's a cloudy day, but what happens when you sing the Gayatri, the sun pops out, it peaks, it says, Hey, who's calling me? It's amazing. And then you'll go, wow, is this a sign or what? And even if it doesn't come through, you know, full on, you will feel this penetration from the clouds, from behind the clouds. And it will come into your body. It will, you will feel this happiness, this uh, peace, this sense of um, energy coming in. So you're more vital. You, you have this vitality and you want to get off the bed and, and get going. So it's a, it's a great to practice to do, to sing to the sun. And say, even if you just at sunrise, hey, you're getting out, we're so rushed and uh, just say, hi, sun. Thank you, sun. Oh, thank you for shining, sun. Hi. You don't even have to say a mantra or anything. Just acknowledge the sun and be in the sunlight. Like just close your eyes and then just be in the sunlight. I don't remember the words to the guy tree. I don't even know the mantra for the sun. Hi, sun. Thank you so much for shining on me. And then you can uh, say it at sunset. Wow, what a beautiful sunset. You know, so that when you're acknowledging the sun, you are acknowledging so much in that. I think we talked about it last week. You touched on it a little bit in the meditation. But when you say Om, Om is the sound for God. So you're saying, hello, God inside of me. I don't know how to connect with you. 
or I do every now and then, but I need to do it in a big way. So omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresence comes. And that energy, that intelligence will wake you up and it will say, hi soul, connect with the sun and bring this intelligence into you. Noreen, do you want to say something? Noreen? Hi, Noreen, are you there? Okay, I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so the these sounds for the Gayatri, they're so powerful. It's beyond what we can even imagine. And they are they're the they will unlock the secrets to your soul because the sun and the soul are one. And we need to grow the soul so we shine like the sun. We are just beaming, and then everyone around us is so happy. So when you have a lot of sunlight, you have a lot of soul light, you have a lot of soul consciousness, and it's not just the ball in the sky. Uh, it is uh, an intelligent being. Any other questions, comments, shared experiences? I know I muted a couple of people while DB was talking, so please uh, come up again. Linda's saying, do we visualize white or yellow light for the sun? Well, if you look at the sun, what color is it? And then you don't want to look directly into the sun, so you look to the rays, and then you look to where the sun's rays are coming through, and generally speaking, they are a mix of the white, the yellow, they can be pink, it can be uh, purpley, can be orangey. So it depends on, you know, whatever the sun is going to reveal to you. So if you can visualize the brightest light that the sun can be without burning your eyes out, uh, then that would be the white light. So white and yellow and then the other colors. It's not to say that those rays are better than one or the other it's just that you have you're open to it but never people do these sun gazing things uh techniques and they are trained to do that however if you just go and stare at the sun not a good idea so if you're going you can stare towards the sun rays so going to, uh, you know above or below the sun and, and looking off to the side of it don't stare directly into it you'll go blind The, I think we've answered all the questions. Hello? Yes. I see Treat, it's Linda. Hey, Linda, how are you? Happy New Year. That was a great uh, puja you did. Sorry? It was a great puja you did. Oh, good. Glad you enjoyed it. I um, ordered that uh, program from Palai to do with the uh, sun. So I'll be on that call you're doing tomorrow. Great. But, um, in the Ultimate uh, Saturn Solutions Program, we have a call every Saturday. I was just wondering if it's possible that this could be done uh, in the future, not just tomorrow, but other Sundays. Have you heard anything about that? No, I haven't heard about it, but definitely send an email to programs.plycenter.com and share your request. Yeah, because they, they have that Saturn Solutions, but people may have a, um, a bad planet or a bad placement with any planet besides Saturn. All right. So, so uh, Mars and um, Saturn are in uh, Sagittarius right now. And, um, you know, I just was wondering about that for other planets, but especially the sun, because people are more available on the weekends to do something like that. Yeah, we used to have Sundays with Sutrita and we, we talked about the sun and, and how it impacts us every month. And then uh, we had to jump over to Saturday. So here we are. 
Thanks very much. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments? Jurita. Yes, this is. Hi, Sidgerita. This is uh, Sunny. How are you? Ah, Sunny. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Or nice to hear you, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Happy New Year. I feel the energy. It's great. That was wonderful, as always, your uh, meditation this morning. <laughs> uh, a very beautiful. Thanks for sharing that with us. It was so beautiful. Um, I have a question. I was in the mini mystery school yes. <laughs> with you. And so I'm wondering, um, I was thinking about this uh, sun program, but since I was in, in that one, is it, you know, is it something that, is it different than that one? The mini mystery school, we had the, the mantra and everything. Yeah, you will have more teach. you'll have different teachings than in the mini mystery okay. school. It will be different from that, yeah, from, yeah. What we, from what you it, taught us there. Yeah, it's a different lecture. It's more in depth for the Gayatri. It has different videos. It has a different audio practice. Okay, and then um, I have a question. I missed it. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I always look forward to my emails, and um, one of them I missed until, you know, after the fact my this the the son is in a career house for me how would i would you have any suggestions on how to um you know um use that gift the son is in your career house is that what you're yes so the son in your career house that's great you're going to be uh, out and about in the public eye and so how would you, do you have any tips on how to, um, I mean, I have the, you know, I have like almost all of the, <laughs> almost all of his programs, you know, that I'm drawn to. I'm like, well, I need this, I need this. And, you know, I do my own little recipe, but is there anything like um, the sun is in the career house that maybe like using the Gaia tray every day or um, yes, you know, something absolutely. Would with, what would you suggest? I mean, I have a lot of the the programs and so sometimes I you know I take from here and there work with this you know work with this deity or this mantra or how, how would you suggest using it well for you because the sun is in your career house and that's what you want to manifest uh, uh -huh. and and have and be out and about in the public eye so okay even sometimes um Sun might be in a debilitated sign, even though it's in the house of the career. The sign might not support the sun, or there might be, it just needs to be fine tuned. So the Gayatri will do that. So do the Gayatri every day, have it playing every day if you haven't manifested the kind of career or job that you want. Okay, so do that. So maybe even like when I'm working on what I'm what I'm working on, when I'm working on, uh, like, you know, my programs or whatever, just have it playing. Is what yes, doing. absolutely. Have it playing for you every day. Okay. Yeah. Because that's how you are going to empower yourself. You're, you're, you know, you, you've got to wake that up. So I think that you should take the course Awaken the Sun because that's what it sounds like you need to do. You need to wake that up inside of you. You need to bring that energy alive because that's the placement for it. And if you haven't manifested whatever it is that you want to manifest as far as your career or your job goes, then that has to be woken up. Okay, well, you know, I saw it, I was like, this looks interesting, you know, I took the mini well, school, so I'm not sure, and then I, and then I saw, oh, Sujarita is a teacher, and I was like, oh, there's my sign. <laughs> well, it'd be great to have you there, Sunny, and I mean, that's your name, too, Sunny, like sun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then, and then I'm, I'm not quite understanding, I'm getting a little, um, okay, so the sun is exalted now, so this is the most powerful time, these first couple of of days because it starts the new year that the whole like, month so powerful the whole month it's from mid month to mid month so mid um april to mid may is when the uh -huh. sun is exalted but you're really feeling it now so it's like plant the seeds now 
So then mm -hmm. as the, the month rolls out, you have your, it's going to grow within four weeks. You're going to manifest something beautiful because it's the, the sun is the most powerful of all the months. Okay. And it's all about you. It's not about your kids. It's not about your finances. It's not about your relationships. It's not about your social, your job. It's about you. So you've got to plant those seeds that are going to renew you. You're going to have a new outlook. You're going to be more optimistic. You're going to look at the different areas of your life and go, this is who I am. I'm going to visualize myself with a beautiful relationship, with a beautiful bank account, with a beautiful job. With a be but this, you've got to feel that. You don't just go after those things because then the mm -hmm. sun is in alignment with those things. Even if, even if God gave you all those things, if you're mm -hmm. not, resonating with that high consciousness that high prosperity or high intelligence or high self-esteem you'll just go oh okay that's nice so you got to get this energy into you so that you will manifest those quite easily the, the divine will just give it to you just like the people who shared oh my god it was an intense week or tense month but then i had this breakthrough you know because that's it's mm -hmm. all about you've got to have a breakthrough in your old way of being uh and and so that that is out of the way and then you just go and grab the gifts that the divine is giving you thank you so much i guess you know part of what i needed to hear i'm really good at like i have to keep the family together and manifesting for that and i'm very happy that through the teachings through dr pilar's teachings and you um you know, you grounding us in it that um that that things are you know coming in a blessing. But I do. I'm always like extremely happy and humbled and so blessed. But I'm like, oh, what about my my little portion here? So when you're saying it's all about you, I think that's uh, that's very helpful. So thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Sunny. And it is like we have to give ourselves at least one gift in in the whole year. And so this is the time where you will you'll really love it because it, you get to have it to be all about you. Great, and I, um, <clears throat> I wanna thank you for you know, all your teachings in the past and everything you do for us. You really, you've kind of helped me with, uh, with my husband. I finally had a breakthrough. He's listening to some stuff, you know? Oh. And he's like, yeah, and where before it, um, you know, I'm very careful because you, you talk about the karma, and I, I did pretty good on the ego stuff, like, uh, you know, not having to prove to him it's this and this or whatever, but like he, he's listening and he's opening to some stuff. And, and then, and then when I, I did it one day and then the next evening, you know, I did it and he's like, oh, do you have that? I was like, oh, you felt something. You oh. felt something. <laughs> So he didn't, he's like, oh, I just want to, he's like, well, I just want to see, I just want to see. And now he's kind of open to like what I put there and, you know, I don't do everything. I just, you know, did a little something that I got off the store and then I'll put other mantras that I'm allowed to put on from other teachings, you know, just have them vibrated in it. But I'm very careful what you guys say about the, you know, a little bit. I'm like, all right, I'll take a little bit of karma because, you know, this is my family and, the, you know, this is the way to do it. But, um. But yeah, having that breakthrough, I'm like, I'm like, you don't know how blessed you are. You don't know what people, people pay to be with this man. <laughs> oh, that's so, so great. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. So a little, a little by little, and what I'm more excited about is I see my vision coming together because he wants to, you know, take these vacations and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, you know, I, my vacation needs to be with a purpose. And now I see him coming with me, you know, when I go to one of these and, and now go I see him coming with me. Yeah. If, if oh, you went to San Diego, it's so beautiful there. It's I've been to California, but not San Diego. So I would love it. I've been to California. I'm like, oh my goodness. This is why everyone wants to move here. I can't believe it. Aww. But that would be great to go to San Diego. So I manif I'm like I I'm like so um I'm so like thankful the practices because I almost manifested going to New York. It was just like two last minutes. 
but it came through. Shun Brzee came through, but it was too last minute that, you know, the airplane tickets were like $500. It just didn't, you know, it was right. what I thought before. But, but so I'm like, what did you do that with that money? I'm like, you know, I'm like, we have to, you know, just, it has to be used either for, you know, like our family purposes, like you said, family responsibility or, yeah. you know, or for that. And so I'm just like, it can't be, you know, squandered. It was just, you know, so special, but I, you know, it's so incredible, the teachings with you and, you know, how you ground everything and really bring Dr. Pillay's teachers coming through that we can understand, you know, more and more at a granular, granular level. So again, thank you for all you do. And, oh, and I manifested my son's soccer games was supposed to be at 10 and then, and then all of a sudden they changed it to nine. So I guess it'd be with Pichurita on Saturday morning. So, <laughs> so it's great. So thank you. Aw, wonderful, Sunny. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you for everything. You're very welcome. Have an amazing new year and we'll see you on Sunday. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, God bless. Yeah, so some people are saying, I just gifted uh, Dr. Fly's Vedic New Year webcast audio downloads all five meditations for as little as 14 USD. Oh my goodness, that's awesome, Eva. Happy New Year to me. That's what she she gifted it to herself, and that's what you've got to do. You've got to give give yourself the gift that keeps on giving. It's your spiritual birthright. It to to continue on your path. And so if you've been blocked up until this point then the divine has got you here. So now things are gonna really roll for you. So take a chance and find out for your own self what you can do in these next 30 days. You'll, your outlook on life will be brighter, regardless if the sun is shining or not. You will experience this sun's energy coming in and beaming into your consciousness and saying, wake up soul. You need to have a fully expressed, prosperous, abundant, joyous life everywhere. So this is the time. It's the golden age. The door is open. Walk through it and see what there is. Have a dance. Have a sing a song. You know, that's how it is. We don't have to go to an ashram and be uh, in a traditional, with a traditional guru. He's very traditional, but we don't have to go and do what we would have had to do uh, in days gone by. That's not the time for uh, a lot of us. I would like to be there with you, but it is impossible. Okay. So you can just be uh, going to the YouTube and uh, put the subject in the subject line, the search line, anything to do with Vedic New Year, the sun, and then just listen to that and just uh, watch Dr. Ply and get the spiritual transmission from him. That's another thing, is that these YouTube videos are not just for entertainment, although they're pretty entertaining. Sometimes they're pretty funny. The messages are so uh, pertinent to life and it's pertinent to this age and uh, uh, the, what we're doing right now in modern times. So it's not high philosophy. It's like very practical. And uh, when you're listening though, you'll find that you're kind of in a trance because there is a spiritual transmission. There's a trance going on. There's a connection. So get into that stream of consciousness when Dr. Pillai is sharing a teaching or he's sharing a mantra, you're, getting, you're taking it in to your soul. Just let it go past your eyes, let it go past your thinking and let it go deep into your soul and feel the different chakras. That's your soul. Your chakras are your soul. Which chakra is it? Well, that's another story. But don't worry about it. Mostly the third eye and mostly the heart. Can be the belly as well. But you feel it inside of you because your gut feeling is the highest, really. Because no one can negate that gut. It's that, it's that right before you're just about to think something. Whoa, something in your gut says, do this, do that. 
pay attention. It'll say, don't do this, don't do that. You gotta pay attention to that because that's your soul talking. So mm, keep doing your, if, you, if you're saying I can't, I wanna be there in San Diego or be wherever, maybe it'll be London for Guru Purnima in July to see Dr. Ply. Put it in your consciousness, just put it there and then get, do this uh, practice for these next 30 days and say, I really, really want this. This would be very good for my soul. And when I'm happy, then the rest of my world is happy. So uh, start planting those kinds of conscious uh, goal setting. So don't wait until the end of your life. Oh, someday I want to have this and someday I want to have right now. So enlightenment takes a long time. However, manifesting can be very easy. So just go and bring these uh, gods and goddesses energy to help you to think those kinds of thoughts. When you're thinking those kinds of thoughts, guess what happens? Your karma changes because karma is thought. So you got to think powerful thoughts, get pictures, images. Images that you can fall in love with and feel that experience of peace and calm and energy and hope, you know, as Sunny was sharing. My God, my husband now, he's like, well, what are you doing now? I felt something. And she, before she was like, oh, this guy is not going to ever get it. Or, you know, I'm trying to give it to him and I'm trying to force it on him and it's not working. So that's nature. You can't force it. But when nature wants it to happen, because you're making the effort, you're holding the space of love, you're following your highest path, miracles happen. Yeah, so happy Vedic New Year to you too. People are posting on the chat. So the downloads, uh, Fran is asking, I believe are on Apply Center, right? Because that's where you would buy everything on Ply Center or uh, Ply Center Academy. I'm not really sure what the member is sharing. Any other questions or comments? Oh, I wanted to mention about. Um, the Siddha in the background. So he's on the mantle where my hand is. And uh, he, that is Vishwamitra. I don't know if you can see it better. So Vishwamitra is the author of the Gayatri mantra. So someone was sharing that, oh my goodness, I was singing the, uh, I think it was Yasmin. She, she bought the, the PCA program for uh, Awaken with the Sun and started it last week. And so uh, then she started to do her shrimp Brazis and it started to really expand and explode and be this consciousness uh, that was all lit up. And that's because he, uh, Vishwamitra is the author of the Gayatri and he's also the author of Brazil. He's a very powerful being. If you Google him, oh my God, he's amazing. And one of the sites that I read recently, uh, someone had sent me a link and uh, he was Christ. So he's a highly evolved, highly enlightened being. And he is like, totally wants to keep going for it. He doesn't quit. Even if he gets knocked down, he gets back up and he just will meditate and meditate in other realms and he will come and manifest on the earth plane when it's required. And how is he manifesting? His conscious is pumping in to us the Gayatri. So even though the Gayatri has been around for about 5,000 years or whenever they first started to write it out or speak it, uh, you know, and pass it along in the generations to follow, it is now more than ever because there's so many more people on the planet and the consciousness of the planet, people who are on the spiritual path and who are on the path of enlightenment, they are getting the empowerment at a greater level. And so as you're doing this Gayatri, you can thank Vishwamitra and also 
thank him for connecting the dots between or the making the connection between the the brzi mantra and the gayatri the sun gayatri so brzi again is going to birth wealth into you so just like the sun it's going to birth vitality into you so it's a burst of energy a burst of uh, sunshine a burst of soul shine and then you'll feel happy and and doing the brzi mantra will take it to a whole new level now that you've been awakened by the sun so that's a beautiful connection and then on the other side we have um of the mm, mantle i'm not sure if you can see him there he is so on the other side is swami ramalingam he's over there and he is uh the author of Arutparam Jyoti, and that is the vast grace light so you can you can have knowledge and you can have um you know all kinds of things in your life and it's going pretty good and you have these miracles that happen if you don't have grace if you don't have grace flowing if you don't have that con constant connection to the most compassionate most uh intelligent most merciful light you can lose yourself the ego will get lost in itself and it um can fool you so you can think you're on the spiritual path and as we always say when you're thinking you're not on the spiritual path the spirit should just be moving through you the grace is flowing through you regardless of what your head is saying and then that grace elevates you to the highest state such that you can connect with any being anywhere and there can be healing energy so the grace light was um by the arut param jyoti mantra for bringing the grace light into the whole earth plane was um dr pillai's previous lifetime as our most recent lifetime as swami ramalingam so he knows how to turn the whole body into light so the gayatri is the means to do that while we're here on this earth plane and have our needs met and then some and have that wealth of uh everything that is material and also spiritual wealth have that growing that be um the soil or the the bed the garden bed for us and then bringing in the grace like whoa that just takes it to a whole new level so you have to play around with these mantras to see what level of your evolution you can um uh, be experiencing at any given point in time so those are the um acknowledging acknowledgments that i wanted to make before we wrapped up today because without these divine beings this stuff is just academia or theoretical or philosophical so whatever we've shared here is totally empowered because i can't say that i am doing anything other than being a vessel to share the teachings with you whatever is coming through and whatever you're receiving is for your soul and there's a higher power beyond this unit here so god bless you all to have the most empowering vedic new year as the sun is exalted in aries you're going to feel like you're fired up you want to hit the ground running you've been in the washing around in the sea of uh, piscean ocean the sun has just been washing around your soul has been like i don't know where i'm going now you're going to feel focused and and feel like you have direction and set your goals for you this is your month for you it's the only month pretty much out of the 12 uh transits of the sun every month that you're going to know that it's all about you and everything that you do is going to be food for your soul and it's going to help you to make the decisions for when the sun goes into the next uh houses each month or sign crosses over into the next signs each month that you because you were empowered you see clearly about your finances you see clearly about your siblings you see clearly about courage about your family about your mother 
about your home life, then about your kids, and then about uh, you know practical things, and and about your communication, about healing, about enemies, and then the seventh house relationship, the eighth house, the occult or hidden things about you, unexpected gains, inheritances. Someone might die during that time. So the sun is going to go through all these different uh, houses. It goes into the ninth house, your spiritual father, your spiritual path, your own father, uh, your higher teachings, your higher studies, the 10th house, your career, who, how you shine, the 11th house, whatever you're gaining from that. The 12th house will be, again, swimming in the ocean of consciousness where you will be just wanting to just go into your spiritual realms or far away on a pilgrimage. There might be loss too. So that's how the sun impacts the life. So do it with full consciousness from this point as it's so ready to light you up. It's so ready to fill you up. So drink up the sun, take it in. And do the Gayatri Mantra, and that will be so powerful for you because it will be empowering you from within. And then you'll be living it. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating live and wishing you all the best of the new year. And we'll, we'll see you next week. If not before then, we'll see you in... Uh, Wealth Rising Extension Program, if you're uh, in that program, or the Awaken with the Sun program that's offered through Play Center Academy on Sunday. And then who knows, maybe we'll continue it on now that someone has said, hey, let's do some program for the sun. Maybe we'll carry that on as a weekly program for a little bit, but we'll see. So God bless you all. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you.